This video demonstrates how to set up and perform capillary puncture and hematology testing. Equipment required includes the following. A completed laboratory requisition form, gloves, antiseptic swabs, lancets, an automated lancet device, a biohazard sharps container, capillary tubes and sealing clay, microtainer tubes, collection bags or containers, gauze pads, adhesive tape, biohazard bags. While these come in various colors, they can be identified by the universal biohazard symbol. Please check your institution and state regulations to confirm which bag is used. A glucose monitor and test strips, a cholesterol testing device and test strips, a microhematocrit centrifuge, cleaning agents including antimicrobial soap, and the patient's medical record. First, wash your hands and put on gloves. Review the laboratory requisition form and set up the tray with the appropriate equipment for each procedure. Place the lancet in an automated device as required. At the beginning of the day, switch on and check the microhematocrit centrifuge. Switch on and check the glucose monitor. Perform quality control checks as per the manufacturer's instructions. Inspect the test strip before using it and insert into the glucose monitor. Turn on the cholesterol testing device and perform quality control checks as per the manufacturer's instructions. Confirm the patient details, explain the procedure, and address any concerns. Let the patient know that there may be some discomfort and obtain verbal consent before beginning the procedure. Select the appropriate collection site and consider the age of the patient. For children, the heel is commonly used. Or alternatively, the earlobe can also be used. If performing a glucose test from the finger site, instruct the patient to wash their hands. Position the patient appropriately according to the chosen collection site. Encourage circulation by gently rubbing and warming the selected site. Cleanse using an alcohol-based wipe and dry with sterile gauze.